If you've ever been to a holiday home or lived in any shared house, you'll know that some rooms are better than others. There's good rooms and then there's bad rooms. There are these sort of palatial rooms, the ensuite double bedded rooms that make you feel spacious and bright and like everything's all right with the world. Then there are the box rooms, the rooms that are just so small that your only option is to sleep in a rickety old bunk bed. And these rooms make you feel cramped and grumpy. And you know what, sometimes the reason you get put in this room is because life actually hasn't gone that well for you. Maybe you don't have that partner that you have been longing for, or maybe you just don't have enough money to pay a good share of the holiday home, so you get lumped with the small room. And all this mirrors a wider point because there are some people that seem to be living this perfect palatial life where everything goes great. And then there are others that seem to be having a terrible time. The bunk bed people, the cramped people, the stuck in a small room people. I wonder which one you feel like. But Paul says this amazing thing in Philippines. He says, I have learned the secret of being content in any situation, whether I'm well fed or whether I'm hungry, whether I'm living in plenty or in want. He's content. And I totally get being content when you're well fed or living in plenty. But how is it possible to do it when things are going badly? <laughs> the thing is, it's easy to give out the impression that you're having a perfect life. And I think that's often what we see. You know, if we could look behind the curtain, we'd see that it's not that great. And I just think sometimes our jealousy is misplaced. Sometimes it's better to be in the bunk bed. The other thing is that Jesus seemed to have a lot more time for the people that weren't doing so well. He was always healing the sick. He was always having dinner with the unpopular people. And you know what? He had some harsh words for the rich and the powerful. With Jesus, it was often better to be the sort of person that sleeps in the bunk bedroom. But sometimes even that isn't enough to see contentment. Sometimes you just don't feel it. And if that's you, it's worth remembering this Psalm. Psalm 27, David, he's just said, I'm convinced that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. But then he says this, wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. And basically he's saying, look, it's going to be tough, but if you wait, you'll see his goodness in the land of the living.